Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN. Today, guys, we got some breaking news for you as it concerns DeAndre Jordan signing with the Los Angeles Lakers. Guys, this is some breaking news that just came out according to Woj and Shams Tarania uh, with a tweet that's out there. Uh, DeAndre Jordan attends to sign with the Los Angeles Lakers after he clears waivers. Now, guys, before I get into my thoughts and my opinions about uh, DeAndre Jordan joining the Los Angeles Lakers, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff, and of course, like always, Please be sure to like my page on Facebook, ZSPN, and also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at ZSPN. I'll leave the links to my social media sites in the description of this video so you guys can check out my social media sites. And of course, guys, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate the love and support you guys give me on all of my social media sites. And of course, on this channel, ZSPN on YouTube and Guys, I also have a podcast now. Uh, it's called ZSPN on Anchor. It is also on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all those great uh, podcast distributions out there. If you just show me the love support by uh, you know, subscribing to my podcast and, of course, subscribing to this channel uh, on YouTube, ZSPN, it will be much appreciated. And I do appreciate, once again, the love and support that you guys give me on all across social media and, of course, on this channel, ZSPN, on YouTube. Thank you very much for the love support. And uh, let's just get to it. I mean, the breaking news, DeAndre Jordan, you know, signing to the Los Angeles Lakers on a one-year deal, $2.6 million on a veteran minimum. Guys, this is a good move by the Los Angeles Lakers for many reasons. Uh, obviously, for one, the Lakers needed a center when it comes all said and done. I mean, they needed another pure center uh, to fill up those uh, roster spots. And uh, as it stands right now, with the signing of DeAndre Jordan, the Lakers are now with 14 players on this uh, Lakers uh, roster. I believe they're going to leave that last roster spot for potentially a player from maybe the G League or maybe somebody from the buyout market uh, on February uh, in 2022. It sort of depends on what the Lakers are going to be looking for when it comes to filling up that last roster spot, but uh, still remains to be seen at the moment. But, uh, you know, as it stands right now, uh, DeAndre Jordan is joining with the Los Angeles Lakers after being traded by the Brooklyn Nets uh, to the Detroit Pistons. And uh, I believe uh, it was a part of a trade for a couple of players and some draft picks for DeAndre Jordan. And uh, now DeAndre Jordan is looking at a buyout situation with the Detroit Pistons so he can uh, sign with the Los Angeles Lakers so he can and you know we need a couple of days until he clears waivers and uh, hopefully and potentially he will sign with the Los Angeles Lakers in the next couple of days and uh, I'll make a video of that uh, when it comes to that particular uh, reporting but um you know, I've got, I made a lot of videos when it came to DeAndre Jordan. Uh, it was all part of the uh, circumstances with, uh, uh, you know, uh, Rajon Rondo joining the Lakers. And uh, um, and once again, uh, my two predictions have came true. Uh, you know, the Lakers signed uh, Rondo, and now they're going to sign uh, DeAndre Jordan uh, to the Los Angeles Lakers. And... Uh, they basically did one thing. They found a center, and now the, he's going to be pairing up with Dwight Howard. And, uh, you know, sort of remains to be seen about uh, Marcus Saul and his status with the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, it sort of depends on uh, uh, what the Lakers will do when it comes to uh, maybe finding a trade for Marcus Saul or maybe potentially. Uh, you know, buy him out, or they could just end up keeping him. I mean, there's a lot of uh, uh, use when it comes to Marcus Saul because he brings the shooting for somebody of a big man caliber player like like him. I mean, he brings the shooting uh, for the Lakers. I mean, as well. So, uh, sort of remains to be seen, guys, about Marcus Saul and his status with the Lakers. Uh, uh, the, with the multiple reports that are out there, uh, the indications is that he. 
is not a lock with the Los Angeles Lakers going uh, into uh, the season. So uh, it's sort of up in the air at the moment, and uh, we're not even sure what the Lakers will do with Marcus Saul, but uh, we just have to wait and see. Uh, either they'll keep him, trade him, buy him out. It's so up in the air right now, and uh, that's why it's kind of questionable at the moment about the status also for DeAndre Jordan because, you know, what he will uh, be part of the Lakers' uh, rotation. Uh, will he potentially start for the Lakers? Will he potentially be a backup or just be part of the rotation? I mean, it's so up in the air at the moment, and it's kind of uh, hard to tell what the Lakers' mindset um, and Frank Vogel's mindset when it comes to building uh, this uh, Lakers roster and uh, the lineup, if you will. And uh, But uh, all I know is when it comes to DeAndre Jordan, he brings a lot of traits to the table when it comes to his ability uh, that he is well known for throughout his career. And that is bringing the rebounding to the side of the ball, his athleticism, and um, uh, his... Uh, protecting the rim i mean he is just well known for just being a good rim protector uh throughout his career especially when it came to the la clippers and uh uh and he's a former all-star so he brings the all-star uh mentality as well so i'm just very excited when it comes to what will deandre jordan will bring to the table for the los angeles lakers and uh uh and as i said guys this sort of remains to be seen about the um the status of Marcus Saul, uh, if uh, somehow he will uh, be out of the rotation and somehow DeAndre Jordan will be inserted to the uh, the starting role or maybe potentially backing up Dwight Howard. I mean, there's just a lot of circumstances and scenarios of Frank Vogel when it comes to building this uh, lineup, uh, you know, sort of remains to be seen. And uh, uh, hopefully the Lakers will find that out uh, very soon because... You know, the Lakers have a month away uh, for the regular season to begin. And, uh, you know, we're in September and the regular season will begin in October. So uh, it sort of uh, remains to be seen what's the Lakers mindset going into the regular season. And uh, uh, as it stands now, I mean, this is for me a good move for the Lakers getting DeAndre Jordan. They needed a center and obviously they did it. Uh, by signing him to a veteran minimum. And, um, you know, this is just a good move. Good move by the Los Angeles Lakers. And I really want to know your thoughts about it, guys, in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and please give me your thoughts about the Lakers uh, signing DeAndre Jordan uh, to a one-year deal, $2.6 million. Uh, do you think this is a good move on their part, or do you think the Lakers should have gone after someone else, maybe another center that's uh, a bit younger in a way, in a way uh, or do you guys think that uh, DeAndre Jordan is just a good move because he just fits uh, what the Lakers are building from the center-wise uh, from... Um, uh, veterans and just uh, the scheme of things when it comes to, um, you know, what the Lakers are building uh, when it comes to uh, this very impressive roster. I have to say, guys, this is a very fun roster to uh, be witnessing because, you know, we have we have LeBron James, we have uh, Russell Westbrook, we have Anthony Davis, Carmelo Anthony. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, Dwight Howard is back. I mean... This is going to be a very fun season to watch this Lakers team because all expectations are that are that them they are going to potentially win a championship in 2022 and it's just going to be uh, a lot of eyes uh, being drawn to the Lakers and uh, it's just going to be very fun to watch what this Lakers will bring to the table uh, when it comes all said and done about the uh, this uh, experience veteran team and uh it's just going to be very fun to watch this lakers team uh play basketball and uh, uh you know um when it comes all said and done guys i mean i am going to be making a final uh video when it comes to uh this lakers roster um all across the board guys it, it's going to be uh very interesting of what these players will bring to the table and uh it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to see this Lakers team 
what they will bring to the table. And I'm just probably going on the loop right now uh, because uh, I have nothing else to say. So I'm going to end this right now. So guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, share my videos, and make sure to like all of my social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, and uh, guys, make sure to subscribe to the ZSPN podcast on Anchor. It is also on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Radio Public. And uh, guys, subscribe to the channel ZSPN on YouTube. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there.